the dumpster diver. Anyone knows you can dive for treasure in the ocean, but our neighbor Steve, the electrician, dives for buried treasure right smack here in the back street alley. Once a month during fall and winter and spring, and every week in the summertime, Steve sinks into the back basement storage room. Five minutes later, the dumpster diver comes out. When Steve is ready to dive, he taps five times on my bedroom window. I wave to Steve and knock on Johnny's wall. Johnny hops to his window and shouts upstairs to Linda on the third floor. And the diving team is ready to go. I am hose handler one. Lena is hose handler two. Johnny is the fauceter. Steve climbs up the valley wall, picks a dumpster, and dives in it. Beetles and roaches, spiders splash out. I've never imagined there were so many millions of legs living 200 feet from me. Diving rule number one is keep your mouth shut. Diving rule number two is don't blow your hose all over the place. When Steve climbs out, we hose down the treasure and we also hose down Steve. Being a hose handler is no easy job, especially when Steve is shouting, Rule number two! Rule number two! Thursday is trash day, but we do our real work on weekends. Last Saturday, we started with a pair of busted skis. Johnny drew, Lena measured, I drilled holes for nuts and bolts, Steve cut with a saw, and soon we had a pair of ska skater. An old blender can become a light, an old lamp can become a table, an old table plus two banged up skateboards plus a ripped scribbed mattress plus a handheld shower plus 32 screws and a roll of duct tape can become anything we want. Yesterday trash treasure of the day was an old computer that almost became a flower pot or a fish or a sculpture but we decided it should be computer for Zinda on fifth floor who practices little, little, little her typing spirit. on a piece of cardboard with letters written in it. The Grunch says Steve is crazy, too lazy to work hard to make enough money to buy new stuff at the store like good people should. People say his apartment is full of junk. Steve says junk is good.